Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, this is Curiosity Soul 51, looking at the right mast cam. Unfortunately, my mother passed away over the weekend, and I'm rather depressed. I thought maybe this is something I enjoy, is showing people the truth about Mars. And I thought maybe it might cheer me up a little. I'm having a rough time with it. Let's take a look and what we have. I'm going to do screen capture. I know I said it causes me a lot of problems because it doesn't come out very well and it doesn't. But you can always go to Snake and the Hunter Enterprises and drag and drop the photos. This area here is kind of reminiscent. There may be something akin to uh, succulents cacti or succulents. I can't really tell whether they're just rocks or whether they're cacti, succulents, and the like. In the foreground here, we have obvious, you know, the green patches everywhere. Green patches, green patches. They always seem to cluster around rocks in many places. Um, there could be a reason for that. Rocks tend to hold in moisture in the ground, so that could be why these are clustering around. Up here, again, more green patches. Basically low-lying vegetation. Nothing I haven't seen before in Mars photos. It's just a shame that we can't get the government to tell us the truth on this. I was listening to Andrew Bassaggio on Coast to Coast AM. I gotta give the guy credit. I don't think he's a kook. I think he's for real. He says there's at least three races living on that planet. And I have to say, I give him more credit than somebody from NASA says there's nothing there. But I think he's probably telling the truth. I think he probably was taken to Mars. Alright. Well, I've shown you the green in this one. You can find this at Snake and the Hunter Enterprises. I'm going to advance the next photo. Remember, this is right mask cam. Here we have just a generalized green just about everywhere all over the place in this funnel. If you zoom in you can see the highly you know diversified shapes of the plants. This isn't just coloring. There's shapes to it. It's uh, shapes like you would have with a light ground cover. Uh, plants and there wasn't any question. Now I have the bunkers saying rocks. Rocks? Really? Well good grief. Uh, <laughs> if these are all rocks send me a spaceship to Mars and I'll scoop up I'll scoop them up all day because if these are all rocks then that plant is one tremendous source of emeralds. No, I don't think so. It's just plain old poppycock. Alright. And again. You know, we see the green encrusting the various rocks up here. Um, and it's not in the sandy areas so much. Not a lot in this photo. I'm not going to spend much time on it. Let's get to the next. Remember to drag and drop these onto your desktop so you can look them over. This is the last one on the right mast cam couple of artifact looking objects here. 
But up in this area, we got a whole lot of vegetation. It's just sticking right up. See the green? This looks like a very bushy area. You have a lot of rocks in there, too. But it looks like we have some broadleaf type plants, maybe some succulents. I don't know, growing in this area. I'm very curious. There's at least some plants in there that I'm certain of. And down here in front, not a whole lot, but some. This isn't one of the best photos. Here's a curious object. Right above the sandy area. Looks like a relic to me. Rectangular. Got yeah, kind of a straight top. That looks artificial. This is artifacts again. Can't get cut off. I'm doing a left mask cam now. Another general photo that shows all this unimaginable green everywhere. Like I said, if these are rocks, that means they're emeralds. <laughs> and if they're emeralds, put me on a ship to Mars and we'll make some money. I'll scoop them suckers up all day long. I'm just kidding, of course, but come on. Anybody with eyes can see we're looking at plants. So, what's your problem? Contact your representatives. A curious object right there. Another curious object right there. And we're going to move on to the next slide. Oh, before we do, possible uh, plant sticking right up there. And this thing is really strange. You see the green growing on top of it? In my opinion, that is a log. Very short log, and it's got plants growing on it, like you see in the woods. You see a fallen log, you have plants growing out of it. I think, I think that's what we're seeing here. Very, very strange. But it isn't right. I mean, if that's a rock... <laughs> It's a mineralogist's dream. A few other anomalies, but green, 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 green everywhere. Photosynthesis, oxygen, life. It's on Mars. Next slide. Another mass cam left photo. Green, green everywhere. Curious object right there. You're ready because I'm about to show you something totally different that's going to knock your socks off. Curious object there sticks up high of the ground like a pipe, casts a shadow. Difficult to see though. Alright, you ready? Drum roll, please. See the blue here and the green surrounding it? Well, there you go. There's your uh, lake, pond, or whatever it is. And the next photo will show up much more clearly. There's green surrounding it. Surrounding it. Where do plants tend to grow a lot? They tend to grow around water, right? Because they need it. A real life form we know of does need water. So here we have a classic example. We have some sort of waterway, probably a pond, and there's definitely a def depression there, so it can pond up. And we have apparent plant growth growing all around it. It's amazing. How can this be ignored? The answer is that these people don't want you to understand that there are plants on that planet. If you look real close, there's like a uh, 
tree branch or something like that right there in this photo that's amazing they can ignore that too gonna move to the next slide well there we go apparently it was a little closer this time same waterway I'm thinking looks like a pond and there's green surrounding it maybe it's a different one I don't know and there's green surrounding it everywhere very light green it's not heavy it's not reeds and stuff like you see on earth but it, it's plants it's just blatantly, blatantly obvious. How anyone can sit here and say rocks is beyond belief. You gotta be mentally deranged or something. Or, or you know, a perpetual liar. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Let's take a look down here and there's some interesting objects in this photo small things here's a curiosity kind of sticks up above the rock I don't know not a clue again kind of like a tree root or something we've all seen tree roots sticking out of the ground right and possibly a plant here and there very nice photo though lots of green lots of plants and apparently some liquid water. Next slide. I think this is the last one in the uh, series. In fact, I know it is. Not a whole hell of a lot. Um, mostly just that light, airy green uh, plant growth that we're seeing. Again, it's amazing it can be ignored totally by the people in NASA and whatnot. But there you go. You can see the patches of it right down there. And perhaps a little bonus. Looks like a little plant. This looks like a relic to me. Alright. Uh, my screen capture program is being uncooperative. Uh, like I said, this thing here definitely looks like a relic of some kind. You got a couple of different projections sticking out of it. One sticking right out of the ground. I would say that's a relic. Artifact. And here's another couple of interesting ones. This one has an odd shape to it. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what it could be. Could be natural. This one I don't think is natural. This looks like a manufactured type thing. Possibly even a helmet. Very strange object. You can see the, it's got this rectangular opening here and on the other side. And fl kind of flat on top. I'm thinking that maybe that's a helmet. Let's take a look, see if there's anything else. Very interesting photo. There's actually quite a few curious objects. You have a hollow cylinder there. Typical of the Mars photos. And what could this beastie be? It almost does look like a beastie now, doesn't it? I wouldn't know what. There isn't supposed to be any animal life on Mars, right? I'm thinking maybe there is. Okay. I'm going to save this. And then... I got one more anomaly... That I missed earlier... Well, I'm going to uh, try to find, I forget what photo it's in, so I'm going to save this. Plenty of plants here. 
and I'll bring that anomaly up and then we'll take a look at it. Alright, this is artifacts again. Shouldn't have put my headset down. Uh, right here. Kind of tough to see, but right here. Kind of looks like a skull half buried in the ground. That's what I was going to point out. Uh, this isn't one of the modded photos. This is one of the originals. You can find it Snake and the Hunter Enterprises. You see, looks like a couple of large eye sockets, and it appears to be buried, half buried. So that may be a skull out in Martian desert. I don't really know. Here's the original of that uh, log-like object. It might be an artifact, and it seems to have plant growth all over it. Definitely has plant growth on it. That's about it. Uh, make sure you drag and drop these photos onto your computer and zoom in on stuff. There's a lot of interesting things in these photos. Most of it's just plant growth. But uh, all I can say is enjoy and Contact your representatives. Let them know you don't appreciate the fact that you're being lied to. Somebody needs to be held accountable. Possibly even go to jail for lying to the public about this. Because I believe Andrew Bassagio when he says he was taken to Mars. I believe him. And it's for the simple reason that I'm seeing the artifacts and the plant growth and stuff for myself. And I think that man is right on the money. I don't think he's lying. I think he's completely truthful. That's my opinion. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thank you for watching this video. And contact your representatives. Give them a ration. Let them know you've seen artifacts and plants and foals. And you want answers. You want them now. Thank you. Bye.